In this video, we're going to take a look at the spelling of a few different minor scales. And what I'm going to do is first spell natural minor, and then harmonic minor, and then melodic minor. We're going to take a look at first C minor. Now remember, when you're spelling natural minor scales and harmonic minor scales, um, it's typical just to spell those ascending only. They are the same on the way up as they are on the way down, so it's just fine to spell natural and harmonic going up only. But for the melodic minor scale, pretty typical to spell that one ascending and descending because it is different on the way up and on the way down. Okay, so if we, if we want to spell C minor, the first thing you want to think about is the relative major, right? So if you're given C minor, think up three half steps to the relative major key. So C to C sharp is one half step, to D is two, and then to E flat is three. Remember that it has to be um, spelled as a third, so if we start on a C, it will be some kind of E. And you know that relative keys have the same key signature. So think of the key signature of E flat major. B flat, E flat, and A flat. Well, if E flat major has three flats, so does C minor. They have the same key signature. So to write natural minor, all you have to do is plug in the B, the E, and the A flats. So here's C to C in one octave. Uh, so B flat, E flat, and A flat. So there's C natural minor. Now remember that the natural minor scale has the same accidentals as the relative major, in this case E flat major, but it just starts on a different pitch. So three flats, right? B flat, E flat, and A flat. All right, to write the harmonic minor scale, begin with natural minor first. So I'm gonna write my natural minor scale first. Okay, and then remember the harmonic minor scale raises scale degree seven in relationship to the natural minor. Where's scale degree seven? Well, here's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. This is scale degree seven. If it was a natural, it would become a sharp. If it's a flat, as in this case, it'll just become a natural. And if it's a sharp, it becomes a double sharp. So when you say raise a half step, again, if you have a flat, it'll just become a natural. So I'll just erase this flat to make it into a B natural. If it's a natural here, it'll become a sharp in the harmonic form. And if it's a sharp here, it'll become a double sharp. So that's what it means to raise by a half step. Now the question often comes up, should you write in the natural here? It's not necessary if you're writing your scale using accidentals. If you had a key signature, yes, you would have to write the natural to cancel out the B flat in the key signature. But here it's, it's okay to write just plain B. All right, melodic minor. Well, for melodic minor, again, make sure you start with natural minor first. So here's the natural minor scale. I'm also going to go ahead and write the descending form right away. And we can write the accidentals in later. So remember for melodic minor, pretty typical to write it ascending and descending both. So here we have a natural minor on the way up, just like the natural minor scale that we wrote up here. To write the ascending form of melodic minor, you're going to raise scale degrees six and seven by half step. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So here the A flat will become an A natural and the B flat will become a B natural. Now again, you don't have to mark in the naturals unless you have a key signature. So I'm just gonna leave them alone here. 
So now we have the, the ascending form of melodic minor, which by the way, after the third scale degree, looks just like major. So it actually looks like looks and sounds like major after the third scale degree. But of course, the third scale degree is going to be a minor third from here to here to create the minor scale sound. Then on the way down, you're going to restore scale degree seven and six to what they initially were in natural minor. So now the B becomes a B flat and the A goes back to an A flat. So on the ascending form, you raise scale degrees six and seven, and on the descending form, you lower them back to what they originally were from natural minor. It's also convention to write in any other accidental on scale degrees five, four, three, two, and one on the way down. So I'm going to write this E flat again. And again, what it looks and sounds like on the way down is simply natural minor. So the melodic minor combines the raised six and the raised seven on the way up with the lowered seven and the lowered six on the way down. Next, we're going to take a look at C sharp minor in the bass clef. We're also going to write natural minor, harmonic minor, and melodic minor for C sharp minor. All right, first step again is to figure out or to think about the key signature. If we're given the key of C sharp minor, think up three half steps to the relative major key, which has the same key signature. So count up from C sharp three half steps. C sharp to D, D to D sharp, D sharp to E. So C sharp minor has the same accidentals, the same key signature as E major. E major has F, C, G, and D sharps, right? Has four sharps. So if you're going to write natural minor on C sharp, the first thing you'd want to do is simply write C sharp to C, C sharp to C sharp, and then mark in your accidentals, F, C, G, and D sharps. Now make sure that you end on the same pitch that you began on. So if you start on C sharp, make sure that you end on C sharp. C sharp is your tonic note. Okay, now we're going to write in the other accidentals that are needed for this scale. So F sharp, C sharp is already there, G sharp, and D sharp. So there we have natural minor. Same notes from E major, but instead of starting on E, you start on C sharp. So four sharps, F, C, G, and D. Okay, to write harmonic minor, again, start with natural minor. So we're going to start with a natural minor scale. And then we're going to take a look at scale degree 7. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7. Here's scale degree 7. Um, another way to find it, of course, is to start on the top and just go down 1. Here's one, here's seven, here's six, here's five, and so on. What do we need to do to scale degree seven for harmonic minor? Remember, you're going to raise it by a half step. In this case, the B from natural minor will become a B sharp. And what that does is creates a situation where you have a half step between seven and one. This is known as the leading tone. The leading tone is always a half step below the tonic. It's a tone that really wants to lead or resolve back to the tonic note. So there's harmonic minor. All right, and then melodic minor. Again, start with natural minor first. Make sure you don't start with harmonic minor. Make sure you start with natural minor first. Okay, I'm also going to write the descending form and can write the accidentals in later. 
Again, remember to begin and end on the same pitch. So make sure you end on C sharp, not C natural. All right, so just to confirm, do I have natural minor here? Make sure we have the same notes. Yes, we do, okay. So start with natural minor, and then what you're going to do is raise scale degrees six and seven by half step. One, two, three, four, five, six, and seven. So here the A will become an A sharp, and the B will become a B sharp. That's the ascending form of melodic minor. For the descending form, you're going to restore scale degrees seven and six to what they initially were in natural minor. In this case, I want B natural and A natural. Now, because this is a sharp, I do need to mark in a natural here to cancel it out. Same with this, A sharp becomes A natural. And then as I said before, it's convention to write in all the other accidentals for scale degrees five, four, three, two, and one on the way down. So I'll write in the G sharp again, and the F sharp, and the D sharp. Okay, and again, um, after scale degree three, this looks and sounds like major on the way up, C sharp major, which has all the sharps, right? And then on the way down, it looks and sounds like natural minor. All right, and to finish up here, I wanted to give you a scale that makes use of a double sharp, and we'll see this one, you have to use a double sharp for the harmonic and the melodic forms. Uh, G sharp minor. So again, first step, think about the relative key. Go up three half steps to the relative major. Uh, G sharp to A, to A sharp to B. So G sharp minor and B major share the same key signature. In this case, F, C, G, D, and A sharps. So G sharp minor and B major have five sharps, F, C, G, D, and A. So first step, write your natural minor. This one's in the treble clef. Again, don't forget to end on the same note that you started on. And let's write our accidentals in. F sharp, C sharp, G sharp is already written in, D sharp, and A sharp. Okay, let's double check to make sure we have them correct. So here's the F sharp, C sharp, G sharp, D sharp, and A sharp. So natural minor has the same notes as the relative major as B major, but instead of starting on B, you start on G sharp. Okay, to get to the harmonic form, start with natural minor first. So I'm just going to rewrite my natural minor scale. So on these assignments that ask you to write just harmonic minor or just melodic minor, you really do need to start with the, the natural minor scale first. So that's your first step. Here's natural minor. What we have to do then is raise scale degree seven by a half step. Here's scale degree one, here's seven, here's six, here's five, and so on. So what do I do if it's a sharp? Well, to raise a sharp by a half step, you make it into a double sharp. Uh, double sharp symbol looks kind of like an X. It's not exactly like an X. It's a little bit fancier than that, but when you write it by hand, you can just write the X. So here's a double sharp. Remember that scales are spelled from adjacent letter names? And that's why you have an F double sharp going to a G sharp, not a G natural going to a G sharp. You don't want two of the, set, the same letter name in the same scale. All right, so here's harmonic minor. What about melodic? Well, again, start with your natural minor form.
<clears throat> and you might find it helpful to write the descending form as well, leaving a little space to write in accidentals later. And again, don't forget to start and end in the same pitch. So G sharp, always G sharp. Okay, so here's the natural minor form going up. You can check it against here to make sure it's the, it's the same. We have to raise scale degrees six and seven in the ascending form. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So in this case, the E becomes an E sharp and the F sharp becomes an F double sharp. There's the ascending form. Now on the descending form, we want to restore these notes to what they originally were. So the double sharp becomes an F sharp. And then the E sharp, back to E, make sure you cancel it out. So you do have to mark in the natural to cancel out the sharp here. Okay, and then we need to write any other accidentals that we wrote for the first five scale degrees on the way up. All right? So make sure that you write the D sharp, the C sharp, and the A sharp on the way down. So that one's a little tricky because of the double sharp. There are actually three different minor keys that use a double sharp. Uh, G sharp minor is one of them. The other two are D sharp minor. Here the leading tone is C double sharp and A sharp minor. The leading tone for A sharp minor is G double sharp. So there's only three keys that make use of double sharps. D sharp minor, A sharp minor, and the one we just did, G sharp minor. And again, the leading tone for D sharp minor is actually C double sharp, and the leading tone for A sharp minor is G double sharp. Take a look at a keyboard and you'll see that C double sharp to D sharp is a half step. G double sharp to A sharp is a half step. And of course, F double sharp to G sharp is also a half step. So remember that leading tone is defined as scale degree seven that is a half step below the tonic.